way the, the federal court system works is we have three levels. We have the, the district courts, which there's 92 of those. After that, it's the circuit court, there's 13 of those. And then finally, the Supreme Court, there's only one of those. Mm -hmm. the, the district court has original jurisdiction, meaning that all court cases, the vast majority of court cases originate at that level of the court. They then, depending on the outcome, the different parties might want to appeal that decision and it would go to the next level. So in this case, it, the original um, uh, restraining order was issued by a federal district judge in Washington. It was appealed by the Trump administration, so it was sent to the circuit court, uh, who upheld the lower court's decision, and then uh, it's, it has been appealed to the Supreme Court, but yet to be seen if that's going to be heard or not. The Trump administration is going to appeal this decision, which means that it would go to the next highest level, which is the final level, and only one court. The Supreme Court does not have to hear these cases. It, it makes its own decisions as a body whether or not it will hear it. It takes four members to decide uh, whether or not they want to hear a court case. In all likelihood, I would suspect this will make it up because it's such a salient issue and public opinion is so divisive on it that it probably will go to the court. Um, and then we'll, we'll see what happens because right now we only have eight of our nine justices and a tie would mean that we would uphold the lower court's decision. So the restraining order would stay in place under that circumstance. The important thing to keep in mind with this particular court case is that we're not debating the constitutionality of the Muslim ban. We're talking about a restraining order that was placed by the district federal judge, meaning that the federal government could no longer implement the law in the way that the original executive order stated they could. It's nothing about whether or not the law is legal or not. So in this case, if, if it were to go to the Supreme Court and they were to uphold this um, restraining order, that means that the law couldn't be implemented. That wouldn't stop the Trump administration from potentially changing the law or issuing a new executive order with similar pretenses, just in a format that would get around the issues that the federal district judge had with the original law.